Welcome back to our tutorial. So in the last exercise, we come across with the use of the transformation, that is geometric transformation, the rotation, translation, in combination with the metros and the counter to form some sort of animated effect. So in this <coughs> particular exercise, we are going to explore more on the use of color with relation to the objects or geometric shape you have done. So to start with, we have this combination again, the gem window, create, destroy, and the toggle box. So we have again the gem head and one other geometric shape. So in this case, I'll use a triangle. So the result will be a white triangle located in the center of the screen because we have no translation, no rotation at this point. So the color of the triangle is white by default. In order to change the color, we can make use of a number of commands. The first one is the color RGB. So red is out, green is, is the G and blue is the B. So the RGB stands for red, green and blue, which is the primary color. And we can make use of the connection from the gem head to the color RGB and then again to the triangle or whichever shape you would like to draw. So if we take a look of the color RGB command or the objects, it comes with actually four number box. So we make use of the three of them at this point, the R, G, and B. So each <coughs> one of the number box come with a number. And the number is a decimal number between 0 and 1. And other than using the number box, actually we can make use of a graphical user interface over here. We'll use the horizontal slider. So let's have a look at the horizontal slider. So this is the behavior of a slider. And if we take a look at the output from the slider, it's actually it's a number. So we can see when we slide that particular slider from left to right, we increase the number from 0 to 127. That is the default range. And if we want to use this number as the color value, we need to change the range by using the properties window of the slider. And this is the left one, which is 0, the right 127. If we want to have just from 0 to 1, we type 1 here and then OK. So we can have a look. So this is the new slider value from 0 to 1. And we can remove this number box and connection and connect the slider directly to the color RGB inlet, the red, the green, and the blue. So we duplicate two of them. In terms of usability, you can also further enhance the usability, for example, by changing some of the property. So if 
the first ones you use it to control the red value you can change the label color by clicking on one of the color over here and for this one if it is for the green and for this one if it is about blue you can select different color as a background label for the slider once you have done we can have a look of the effect so the default triangle is white and white is a combination of three one value one 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 over white so in order to change we need to have some change in order to effect the new value for example at this point all of them should be one and if you want to change so we change the slider a little bit it will send the current value which is between zero and one and closest zero around here to the number box and the same for the blue if you want to change we click on it to send the latest value so this is the red so you can see the effect of changing the slider and also the corresponding color on the screen okay so this is the total blue and the black one green and red so those are the color value you can change by using the color RGB objects at some point in time you may not want to change each one of the color individually you can just want to specify for example a combination of free number in order to change the color immediately so at this point you may need to switch to another object which has similar function so the object is color so instead of using three or four number to control the color value and this particular object has only one code inlet on the right hand side and the value for this particular inlet come with a list or a message which contain a list of three or four number and whenever you click on this one all the free number we will send to the color object to change the color immediately so we can have a look if you want to have a red one or a green one or a blue one You can connect them all together to the same inlet on the right hand side so we can test the effect here so this is the default one when we press on this combination of one zero and zero which is actually one stand for the red value and the rest will be zero for green and blue and again this one's for green this one for blue and of course you can type other decimal value between zero and one and as a way to control the combination of the red green and blue you can of course still make use of the slider 
in order to control the value over here. But the oper operation is a little bit more complicated if you want to use the slider individually to control a list of free value. So we cannot just connect each one of the sl slider over here because each can just send out one single value. If we want to send a combination of free values, we need to have something in between. So that will be a pack command. So the pack command corresponds to another command called unpack. So the pack is if you send in multiple value, it will pack all those value together into one single message and then send out the message over the outlet. So if you have three values to pack, you have to specify the three values and each one of them is a floating point number we'll use a short form f f stands for float f l o a t and if you have three of them one two and three it will automatically generate three inlet one for this one the second one and the third one and then you can connect the outlet towards the right hand side inlet of the color objects and then we can have a look of the operation you can see the change in value if you change the slider position of the red slider bar and unfortunately, if you would like to change the green value, no matter how hard you change the slider position, you won't see any change in the color of the triangle until you change the red one. So this will be the same for the blue one. The change will only be effective once you change the value of the red slider bar. The reason of this inconsistency is that the pack command have three inlet, the left run, center run, and the right run, according to the number of F you put in over here, and only the left mode one is the hot inlet. So that means Whenever you change the value in the second and the third inlet, the values are just stored over there and it won't be sent out to the outlet until you also modify the value of the lab mode, which is the hot inlet. In order to solve the problem, we come across a command in previous exercise called the trigger. We'll make use of this tool handle this situation so if you remember the function of the trigger command or the object is it try to have an concurrent or parallel output of different outlet so in this case if you want to trigger the hot inlet to function immediately after you change the value of the green slider bar you need to specify two outlet one for the band and the second one is the floating point number so we, we connect this one you have the two outlet the first outlet will send out a band signal whenever you change the position of the slider and the second outlet, the right hand side, will actually pass that particular value to the outlet. In this case, we connect the number to the second inlet and the first outlet, that is the band signal, to 
the first inlet, that is the hot inlet. So that will be the same for the blue one. So this one go to the hot and this one go to the cold. That is the number. So it's a little bit messy. Then we try to have a look of the effect. So the first one doesn't have any change compared with the last one because this is the the hot inlet. But for the second one, you see whenever you change the slider position, so there will be change in the color value of the triangle immediately. The same applied to the blue one. So you can see the immediate effect of the color presentation. So that will be handled by the use of the trigger command and also the pack command together. So in this exercise, we introduce the use of the color command and also the color RGB command to change the color of any of the geometrical shape. And we also introduce the use of the pack command to combine a number of values into a s one single value. And the use of the revision of the use of the trigger command in order to bypass some of the difficulty we encounter of the result of using hot and cold inlet.